I had a couple really cool guitars in the late 80s that unfortunately I did not know the value of. I had a 1960 Strat. Um, that was, I mean, it's so funny to think that guitar was $1,600. <laughs> to think I have one now that I had to pay $28,000 for. Last year or so, you're starting to see in a Christie's auction or a Sotheby's, the, the cover of their fine instrument catalog is a 52 Telecaster or a 59 Les Paul. I mean, you, that was kind of unheard of a few years ago. It was strictly a violin world and cellos. And... Fender guitars have really sort of come into their own as highly valuable collectibles. And I must say what really drove that uh, we saw a real sea change uh, in, in, in the marketplace um, following on the heels of uh, Eric Clapton's Crossroads sale in, uh, in June of 2004. I'm uh, Kevin Cronin from REO Speedwagon. Been, uh, singing and uh, playing Fender guitar with, uh, with REO since 1972, and here we are. Well, my first guitar was the Competition, I must say. It was a, well, I don't know if you'd really call it the Competition. It was a Harmony Rocket. It uh, came off a, a train that uh, fell off the tracks, and, uh, but it had three pickups and a bunch of knobs on it, so it looked really good to me when I was 12 years old. The Pepsi commercial being shot on location in Tahiti. And what we have is a bunch of pro surfers outside and we have a bunch of soccer players on the beach. And what we're doing is, you guys are actually one of the surfers and there's a sign on the beach that says no soccer playing, okay? So you guys are walking up to Sturb as one of the surfers. You actually see the soccer ball, and you're like, what? You grab it and you kick it out the ocean. Hey. Mr. No Soccer on the Beach. You can't read? Sure. Well, one of the guys who's actually who booted it walks back to get a, a Pepsi. One of the guys kicks the ball, bounces off a palm tree, and ricochets and shuts, slams this Pepsi. That's basically the concept. Okay, we'll walk you through it one by one. <laughs> 